So in this problem, we're told that if f of x equals 5x squared minus 6x from 0 to 3, evaluate the Riemann sum with n equals 6, taking sample points to be right endpoints. So in order to solve this problem, the first thing you should do is just lay out a number line, because it helps you visualize the problem. And then so we know that it goes from 0 to 3, right? So the bottom of our number line is going to be 0. Then we go all the way to 3. And now what you want to do is realize that n equals 6. And so basically n, e n is the number of intervals. So we're going to have 6 different in intervals. So let's split this up into 6 different parts. So this is going to be 1, interval 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've got 6 intervals now. Now what we want to do is find the value at each of these intervals. But how do we go about doing that? Well, what you should realize is that the formula for delta x, which is just going to be the change in our intervals so from the distance between these two is going to be equal to b minus a over n. And so we already know n is. n is going to be equal to 6, which is just like the gap, or just the number of intervals. And then b is going to be the largest value, so 3, so of our domain. So 3, b equals 3. Then a is just the smallest value, so 0. So it's going to be 3 minus 0 over 6. 3 over 6 is going to be equal to 1 half. So now we know delta x equals 1 half. And if we know that, we know that this goes from 0 and then it adds 1 half. So the gap in between these two are 1 half. So then that means this is going to be 1 half. And then we do that for each of these. So 1 half, and then we add 1 half, it's going to be 1. Then we add 1 half, it's going to be 3 over 2. We add 1 half, it's going to be 4 over 2, which is just 2. We add another half, it's going to become 5 over 2. And 5 over 2 plus 1 half is going to be equal to 3. Then so let's just write out this formula. So r of 6 which is what we're solving for, is going to be equal to delta x, we already solved for that, multiplied by f of x sub 1 plus f of x sub 2 plus f of x sub 3, and then so on until we get to f of x sub 6, because there's six different intervals. But keep in mind that they're telling us to take the sample points to be right endpoints. So this is going to help us find what x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 are. So x sub 1, so basically just our value that we're going to plug in for um, our function f of x is going to be so if we have this interval here it's going to be the interval but the largest value or not the largest value on our interval but the end of our interval so if this is our interval right we're going to take um, the end of our interval the number at the end of it so this is our entire interval if we go to the number at the end it's just going to be one half and we're going to do that for each of these intervals so in this case r sub 6 would be delta x times f of it's x sub 1 right so this is just the end of our, our right uh, and endpoint the value of x at that, which in this case is 1 half. So this one's going to be f of 1 half, then plus f, and then what's x sub 2? Well, if we do the same thing on the next interval, we go one interval and we take the value at the end of it, it's going to be 1. So this is going to be f of 1, then we do it so on. So this will be, if we go one more interval, take the value at the end, f of 3 over 2, and then do it again, the value at the end is going to be f of 2. And we're going to add all of these together, so I'm going to move down, and then um, in order to solve for it. So uh, then it's going to be f of 5 over 2. And finally, our last interval is going to be f of 3. So now what we basically have this, and we know that delta x is um, 1 half. So we're going to take 1 half and multiply it by the value of all of these added together. So r sub 6 is going to be equal to 1 half times, and then let's solve what each of these are. So if we plug in 1 half into this, you can use your calculator. So our function is going to be 5x squared minus 6x. So take your 1 half, plug it into this, and when you go ahead and do that, uh, you should get that. Um, you should get uh, it equals, so we have 1 half times, f of 1 half is going to be equal to minus 1.75. And then, now we got to do the next one. So f of 1 is going to be, we can just do this, so 1 squared is 5, or 1 squared is 1 times 5 is 5, minus 6, so minus 1, so we're just minusing 1. And then, if you do f of 3 over 2, plug that in your calculator, or you can just solve it on your own, you're going to get that it equals uh, 2.25, so we'll add 2.25, then I'm going to move down because I don't have enough room. Um, then we got to do 2, and if we do 2, we can just look at it. So 2 squared is 4 times 5 is 20. And then 20 minus 6 times 2 is 12. So it's going to be 8. So we add 8. And then next, 
we want to do f of 5 over 2, because that's the next one. And if you plug that in your calculator to solve, you're going to get that that equals 16.25. And finally, we just got to do 3. And if you plug in 3 into this, you'll get 5 times 3 squared is 9, minus 6 times 3, which is 18. So 45 minus 18, that's equals to 27. So now we've got all our numbers. We just got to add them together and solve. So r sub 6 is going to be equal to 1 half times all these numbers added up. So I've already gone ahead and done that, but if you want to do it on your own, it's going to be equal to 50.75. And so r sub 6 is going to be equal to 1 half times 50.75. So if you go ahead and divide that by 2, because that's basically what it's doing, it's going to be 25.375. And so this right here is going to be the answer to our question. So r sub 6 equals 25.375.